already knew of Oktoberska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this. Yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told them by sheer luck yes, their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this starting epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of me. What can you say for that? Even I would have done the Objective same. The but come on, it was Lasnitsky, the, yes, the agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Arty. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. yes, Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to oh, peace. Hey. And we must do like everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, what difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! What? You've got a better idea? You brought this ape here! Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're sir. done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well... He knows what to do. God, please let this work out. to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards, take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Artyom, little one, it's your turn. Imagine letting a kid come up to you. Why would they even let a kid in there? Oh, am I playing? Oh, weird. Comrade Moscovin, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. Maxim, brother. I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother.
What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? I wonder what it was saying. I kind of opened the door without realizing. It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now, he's got me by the balls. All because of you. Sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... Shiny. Like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes. I did. I poisoned him. Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, it's the end. You but you are the leader! Order him! Oh. Call the troops back! You stole them again! Buy some time to make a deal! What kind There's of... nothing more we can do here. A spy Hurry! Man. Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! Super heavy armor. Nice. Even Khan put on a helmet. It will be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. Most courageous soldiers in the metro. 
Each of you is worth five friends. If you simply do the job you were trained to do, we'll win this battle. There's explosions going off, and he wants to do a uh... Even really loud on my end. Okay, that should be a little better. All the gunfire. Oh yeah. Artium passes out and gets knocked out so often. Oh, I thought that was Khan. gas mask for me and I have no idea why it did that. Hey sniper. I guess I won't need that. What am I supposed to do? I guess I do need this all. Falling back! We won! We beat them! Hey, 
That sniper's strong, dang. I should take it. Yeah. Well done. Regroup and get ready. They're going to go at it again any moment now. Yes, sir. Probably a bad idea to take that instead of the machine gun. There are two of them. has a lot of ammo. bullets that it has left. I was supposed to hit him.
Uh, with this, yeah, with most guns. Apparently, you do just shoot these guys until they're dead. I only have nine bullets left. She did it this time. Well, looks like we did. Great job, everyone. There's another here. I hope the one that I'm not spot and deep, so <sighs> fuck. The facility is rigged for demolition. I gave the order back in forest. Now that we have lost D6, our only option is to destroy it. Count us in, sir. What the hell? Nobody lives forever. What the hell is this? Shit, not again! Wow. Oh, his leg's so gone. Many good soldiers lost. And for what? Holy station? The council? Ah, well. All are cleansed by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Or oh, what remains of you? Artyom, it is time. And who might this be? <laughs> The resourceful young man. Tell me, Arthur, savior of the Metro. Where are you going? Ah, stop him! He was definitely not standing up like that. Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. I love how they didn't remaster the uh, cutscenes. our enemies and save the metro oh was my papa brave the bravest of us all because he was never afraid to embrace the things he didn't understand and where did the dark ones go mama away to a safe place but they promised to come back I thought I had much more to this game left. Oh. <laughs> I only had 24 minutes left of that game. Whoops.
I get the third one to play. I didn't want to continue playing after I did that. Oh, I accidentally skipped the... Well, oh well. Ah, uh, there might have been ending cutscene. I don't know, but I'd have to play that checkpoint again. Apparently, I did not have the next version downloaded. Whoops. Oh, what else was on my list? Oh, yeah. I get I guess it kind of works cuz I'm going from one Russian game to another Russian game. Then she hid under the bench. What a job you have. Worse than fighting the Turks. This is her destiny. A changeling, that bride of yours. What's a changeling? The bath spirit must have switched her at birth, I imagine. Now, Vasilisa, can you guess how Sholvi lifts the Aspen seal? Yes, yeah, Skyward Sword is Russian. What demon is necessary for the book to open the Aspen seal? That Abdiriha switched the girl with an Aspen log. The log is a demon itself. Logs are demons. Well done, Vasha. My we burn teachings him. weren't for naught. The changeling from the ethereal world. These infants don't grow up, as you know. Hmm. The question is, should we waste our time on the bride's requests 
if we ourselves can find this changeling. We can't abandon a Christian soul to evil spirits. If I were you, I'd think whether I should take a demon for a wife. But only a devil will marry a soldier like me. We haven't heard of such a child up until now. This means that the parents keep it secret. Right. The demon might have gobbled up her parents. Without that demon bride, we won't find it. You'll help me then? We will. But what should we start with? Huh? What was it she asked for? Uh, I love how it's like, oh yeah, should we help her at all? And then immediately it's like, yeah, we're going to help her. We have to. A cross worn by a demon. Is such a thing possible? Everything is possible, Vasilisa, if you think about it. I heard that an Ikotnitsa appeared in Yenidor uh, recently. Huh. Why not? I have to. <laughs> Go there and take her cross. Then I'll start with the cross. What could be more important? In Yanidor, you'll find Ildakia Fokovna. They say her daughter was possessed by Ikota. So, did you get all that? What not to get? Go to the Ikotnitsa and take her cross. And immediately, play cards. It's important that we go help. Oh, I have to do the tutorial again. Apparently it didn't save whenever I played it last time. Ha! Made him take. Am I going first? I had to take them all. He just beat my six with another six. Wasted that. That was a trump card. Game is so weird to play.
think he's going to beat me. Ah, he beat me. Dang it. It's okay, I won last time. Oh, I need to see if I can level up first. Where's the meaningless job? How do I know? Oh, there it is. That one, at least that one will keep him busy for four days. The moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the Uyest in a completely different light. Fester with shorts, yeah. There is no such place where a demon wouldn't hide. You just noticed your own shorts are also a giant pain. No, it's pester with shorts, not shorts. How did you manage your own shorts? Does sound like shorts. Pester your shorts. Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. The only thing is, they can't manage every task well. Their job is to wreak havoc. They don't like any other sort. Demons are the one turning the grindstones at the mill. Well, the miller won't turn them, that's for sure. Can't the wind spin them? Do you have to use demons everywhere? It's dangerous. And a sin to boot. Well, what did you expect? It will soon be the 20th century. The demons might make it easier. If they can start making floor, who knows? Maybe we can teach them to reap, too. You've heard of steam engines, huh? I think there's a steam chart inside. Like the one you can find in a samovar. How did you come to be a Kaldun, Grandpa? Demons run everything. Well, told you the other day about the demon stealing Timothy. That's the reason for it. Fighting the pointy-tailed. I heard once that shepherds are no worse. So I became a shepherd boy. Helped Prakopi, the holy fool. I shouldn't mention him at night. Knew his way around the forest, that one, and how to find lost cattle. So I studied under him. Anyway, it's a long story. I'll tell you later how I received my knowledge. Keeps putting off it's telling me how like he became. I got it from him anyway. Had to bust my butt. Had to bust my nut. In any case, see how I managed to teach you. Appreciate that. I do, Grandpa. What kind of man was he, that Prakopi? Not a kind man at all. But of great knowledge. Cursed a lot of people. Practically earned a living that way. 
Nearly cursed me once. A shepherd's really no worse? What makes you think they aren't? Why don't you try finding all the cattle in the forest without a demon's help? One has to know how to ask the old man of the forest for help. And in case a demon steals a cow or something, huh? You, you have to be able to get it back. You'll have to learn. What did you think? Shepherds lie on their backs all day. Your wish. <laughs> the old man's voice actor is... I, I think it's like someone, the guy who made this game, knew. What was that with the stove? As if I'd believe that you forgot how to kindle it. And then you got a bit too scared when the demon girl grabbed you with the fire. It is as you say, Lysa. It's not about the stove. I don't know what's wrong with me. There was this one incident. Since then, I'm not myself when I see any fire. I'm scared of it, something awful. That's exactly the reason why the lads dared me to go to the Banya. They heard the rumors and wanted to have a bit of fun at my expense. Only I'm not one to give up so easily. But why? What's wrong with fire? Oh, it's a long story. So how did you end up a soldier? Well, they took me as a recruit. Gonna come in again and be like, all right, now tell me we about the fire. just a kid then and don't remember much about it, I gather. Old Yegor just took you in after your parents. Well, when you went into the service, was it by your own choice? Aye, by choice. To be honest, some other lad drew the lot, but we have a large family. And I'm a hot-headed guy. Right, and a fine one. <laughs> Quite right. It was my decision. I made my way to my field regiment, and they sent us to fight the Turks. Did they give you your cross there? Aye. That's a different story. I'll tell it later. About the fire, would it take very long to tell the story? He did say it was a long story. Maybe not that long. Anyway, don't be such a bath broom. I'll tell you some other time. Don't you have anything else to do? I don't know what that means. What's... Do you plan to marry that girl or not? How bad of an insult is that? Let's help her first, won't we? She must be a strong girl to pull through that sort of thing. Maybe God sent her. A demon? Sent by God? Well, she said she was a changeling, didn't she? The girls of my age are all married. Who would marry an old soldier anyway? Only a demon. Vasilisa, listen. Thank you for your help with the banya. Don't thank me yet. We still need to free the girl. It's just that I wouldn't be able to go at all if it weren't for you. Here, I want to give you this. Here, take it. What's that? A deck of playing cards or something? Sure is. Been saving them for some time. They are antique. But first class. I'll teach you to play if you wish. This game's called Black Book. They say the devil himself is not averse to a good game of Durak. Uh, whenever I play the actual game, I gotta get all my visitors and everything. <laughs> get out of here, you meddling kids, or you'll get it! No, I'm the old man. He saw us! Wait, maybe they're here on business. Well, speak up. Hmm. Oh, Vasilisa, we saw such a scary thing. West of Yenidor, there's a scary Izba. Evil no, you can't. live there for sure. Why do you say that? Read for yourself. 
They say there used to be a party every day, but now it's them silent as the grave. So wait for ourselves. Well, well, you'll wind up in graves yourselves if you go wandering like that. Old man, she's like, I'm gonna kill you. At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the late hour, trading is still taking place. Perhaps you might buy something for your journey. A multitude of goods can be found. Prianix, as well as a variety of magic trinkets. There's something for everyone. Oh, I can play the cards with random are people. Away by a game of Durak. I'm not good at that, so I'm not gonna. Low prices, come and see for yourself. Buy some herbs and other goods I've brought for you from the woods. Oh, that, that could be useful. Dude's yell selling a knife that was used to murder. Can't afford it. Am I not using? Can I like? It's the wrong thing. I can't see what I have right now. Buy an amulet, and you'll be as healthy as a boar. I I want that. But if I just sold the cards off right away. I'd have to sell a lot to get anything. Oh, wait, what was that? There's something else I could sell. Ah. Not enough to be worthwhile. How do I leave? Oh, there we go. can't sell noodles. I don't have any. Sadly. Hey, I might you actually get a fight. Off course and walk onto the road more to the west than you had planned. You stumble upon a ragged man with rotten teeth and rotten eyes. You realize that it's a brigand. Traveling by night in Perm Gubernia is dangerous. 
and not only because of the evil spirits. The silence is broken by his hoarse voice. Hey, pretty has to what say. do we have here? A girl or something? Right. I'll let you go if you give me all your money. Yeah, that ain't, ha that ha ain't happening. It seems to me you can't see so well in the dark. I'm not traveling alone. Come on over here, brigand boy. I fought the Turks, went toe to toe with the demons, but your kind are the filthiest of all. Looking upon the tall soldier, the brigand loses his confidence. He backs away and runs into the woods. In a hurry, he drops his pouch. Dude, I just robbed the robber. You go on your way. Oh. Near a small forest creek, you find a grassy meadow. Among other vegetation, this you is kind of like beautiful Andy. flower. It's blood red and bright even in the moonlight. You come closer and tie its stem with a silver thread. With a swift pull, you now have a new, valuable herb, Adam's head. You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. What a weird way to pick an herb. Fir branches poke into the empty windows of an abandoned hut. You are overcome by an unpleasant feeling. There's a good reason they call this place haunted. Uh, I can't remember what exactly it's based on. Ah, oh, Slavic myths, what it's based off of. Inspired by. You squeeze into a slightly open door and clear away the cobwebs. It is dark and empty here. The dead silence gives you chills. You step inside the house and freeze in horror. Under the broken red corner lies a dead man's body. A broken accordion lies nearby, torn as if by a wild beast. You search the dead man and the izba. The former has a pouch with some rubles inside. You tell about the dead man in the nearby village, and use the money to pay for his burial and a funeral service. Peasants tell you that several years ago, someone took this skillful musician to an evening gathering during the dead of night. He hadn't been seen since. Hey, I lost a sin. Oh, I can't go back there. You That's nice that I can unsin myself. Grim trees hang from all sides, and strange noises are coming from the dark of the night. You freeze with fear when you notice two demons near an unearthed grave. They have already opened the coffin and are methodically skinning the dead body. Hmm. Should I just watch, or should I stop it? Will watching a man get skinned be a sin? Turn up the volume. Their work continues, and soon one of the demons puts on the human skin. Now he looks half human, half demon. A flash of light, and the demon shines with a poisonous looking flame. With this light, the demons immediately notice you watching. I, I think I just made the fight harder by letting them put on the skin. Oh, he's a ghost. This is ethereal meat. I can't hit him at all. Oh, 
Well, I'm gonna take some damage here. Oh wait, I had enough to completely block it. Nice. My math is off. <laughs> They're attacking. Still ethereal. Dead now. Shield me, that's right. <laughs> Gotta heal some so I don't get too dead. Almost enough to kill him. Oh! The waste, I forgot about that. Be really useful to heal. Having dealt with the demons, you look around. A narrow trail stretches from the grave to the forest. You remember hearing about this place, this overgrown trail leads to an old cemetery. Apparently I did an optional pass. I'm getting some cemetery dirt. You know about a cemetery nearby and decide to visit it. The tombstones that stand among the trees are enveloped in a gray fog. You look around, expecting an ambush, but everything is eerily quiet. You're in luck. The grave diggers have recently dug up a grave. It stands open, uh -oh. black and hungry, yet That's a big unoccupied. Spider. You scoop a small amount of fresh cemetery dirt into a sack and whisper some Zagavars. This soil will make your witchcraft stronger. You pray for the repose of the souls that lie in this cemetery. The night is silent. You calm down and rest a bit. You walk around the overgrown cemetery and look at the grave crosses while thinking of all the deaths that made this city of the dead. Who knows? Maybe Ikotniks were around in earlier times. Maybe some are buried here. Nice. Being watched. You pray for the repose of the and, souls that and I lie just keep doing in this. this. You pray for the repose of the soul. That's weird that I can just keep 
playing over and over. <laughs> you hear a whip long, crack. Shrieking in pain, some unfortunate soul is being driven to hell by a devil. You pause in hesitation. Is this sinner's soul worth You call out to the devil. Both the enemy and the sinner turn their burning eyes towards you. It turns out that the sinner is one of the demons. You hold the black book close and prepare oh, for a fight. You tricked me. Got like no Do that one. No shield this round. Can't believe I'm fighting Big boy. Oh, I forget I can have him slap people. I really need to like set myself to have better defense in my Pokemon. Although I guess the best defense is just killing them before they can get to me. In the shady ravine lies a great stone. It has the mark of a foot on its top that's filled with morning dew. There are quite a few candles around it. Here and there you notice offerings from the peasants of Yanidor. You drink the holy water and feel a surge of strength and confidence. Oh. Okay. Weird. You see a swamp ahead. The damp soil squishes under your feet. You become cold and uncomfortable. Suddenly, a white ghost of a calf appears from the bog. It looks at you and does not move. You read a protective Zagavar, and the ghost disappears. When you finish your sorcery, you realize that this calf was, in fact, a treasure. Striking it, would make the calf fall apart Aww. into coins. You notice the burning eyes of demons nearby. Are they guardians of this treasure? I mean, I didn't fight it, so... Why, why would I have to fight them? Okay. 
already have five. I just gotta do that and hope that I don't die. I mean, I won't, but hope that I get shields next turn. We're healing. Kill that one. Killed myself. Kill. Oh yeah, it's because I clicked out. Oh, it's really quiet. I can turn it up some more. I think that'll make it really loud, though. We can make the, uh... I lowered the, uh, music volume on the other stream, because you couldn't hear people over it. No, it was just me clicking out of the game. It's good to change the music volume back. Now it gives me all the, uh... Oh, I thought it would finish the spell. I have no idea what that says. I just noticed it was actually like lettering. Oh, I actually haven't used that. I'll get rid of this. Yeah. Oh, I guess history. We should see some big people. It should be the boss. Janidor is covered with a bright pre dawn mist. Amidst the hollow silence, you hear sounds of the village waking up. With old Yegor's directions, you quickly find the house of Yevdakia Fokovna. Nikolai knocks on the carved gates 
and you are soon greeted by the hostess. Evdekia Fokovna, God bless. God bless. God bless, indeed. And who might you be? We've come to speak to your daughter. Ha! Came to make fun of my Akulina. I won't let you. Leave us alone. Oh, we wouldn't dare. We want to help her. Help her? Many have tried. None have succeeded. What makes you think you can? I'm a witch. I could just intimidate. I know how your daughter is suffering. That's why I want to help. I know how. <laughs> Very well. Couldn't hurt, I suppose. It surely couldn't get any worse. My girl suffers from an ecorda. Day and night. Akulina hides in the old church of transfiguration at night. The Ikota is not so violent there. That's where you'll find her. Thank you. Don't worry about your daughter. We will help. Well, God willing, God willing. Goodbye, Yvdakia Fokovna. That name has so many syllables in it. The Old Church of Transfiguration, a grim shadow in the crimson twilight of the early hours. The domes of this building tower silently over you. Hundreds of years and dozens of generations have passed under its roof. You can feel the wisdom stored within these majestic walls. Ah, let me get that. Old stairs lead inside the church. Whenever he recorded that bit, he had a no pot filter, it sounds like. Oh man, I can't go over through that path. Where am I going? I just go out there. Yeah. The sun is rising, yet I don't feel any less frightened. Old stairs lead inside the church. Somebody's got to help that man. It makes my skin crawl. Perhaps because an Ikota dwells here. Okay, it does fix the angle. The iconostasis has collapsed partially, as if it suffered a strong northern gale. The royal gates are crooked and no longer bar the entrance to the altar. It looks like some of the icons were torn out on purpose. Some of them stand facing the wall. Uh, I want to see what this one says. The iconostasis has collapsed. In the dim light, you notice a heap of rags where the Ikotnitsa Akulina lays. She seems to be sleeping. From time to time, the girl shudders from nightmares sent by the Chort to haunt her. You call out to the girl. She jolts up and darts to the altar corner. 
even amidst the gloom, you notice the way her arms are shaking. Who are you? Don't hurt me, please. Frighten her. Don't be afraid, Aquilina, dear. We won't harm you. I'm Vasya, and this is Kola. We want to help you. We heard you have a Nikota. I don't think I can. Yeah, they say I have a short inside me. It torments me. She's been eating short. Can we talk to it. We can't make Proshka come out. He'll come out when he wants to. We'll need your cross for this. Can you trade it to us? What am I to do without a cross? Proshka will eat me alive without it. I'll trade you mine. I have two of them. One was given to me at birth, and I found the other on the battlefield. Tell us about your chort. What's there to tell? Sometimes he crawls out, sometimes he can do some sorcery. The other kids make fun of me. The girl starts to whimper. Hey, hey, you have a demon. We can get rid of Proshka. Get rid of him? Really? He won't live by himself. Don't worry. I think I know how to draw his attention. I have to make the Ikota mad enough so that he leaves Akulina. How can I anger this particular chort? See if I have something that says... Jeez, that's brutal. Uh, I don't really have much to actually tell me. Oh, he tore the icons down. The broken icon at the entrance, and the defaced iconostasis here are not a coincidence. Seems like he doesn't like icons, that Broshka of yours. Yes, he made me deface the icons here. I'll draw a circle, and we'll start. You sit, Akulina, in front of the iconostasis, and Nikolai puts the icons into place. You start to read a Zagavar. You learned it long ago, but your memory doesn't fail you. The words of the spell ring out with a thundering echo. You almost manage to finish the ritual when Akulina suddenly pushes you. Taken by surprise, your incantation of magic words stops. The girl starts to convulse. The Ikorta has emerged out of her. Interesting. <laughs> it looks you like you call yourselves exorcists? How did he just pronounce that? This Zagavar is dated. Your exorcism, your exorcism spells are uh, are outdated. They won't work on me, a modern demon. <laughs> no one uses that commencement now. What kind of witch are you? So out of fashion. Yuck. <laughs> Jeez! Christ's kingdom! 
It's impolite to make mention of such kingdoms in front of demons, I have you now. And you can't just go displaying icons. I hate icons. This is just a normal cat. Knocking pictures off the wall. Like... Straight up. I had a bot. I had to get rid of that real quick. <sighs> so you're the Kota Chort? So what if I am? Ain't I fine looking like a feline? What did you expect? A frog or something? A feline? We need Akalina's cross. Yes, I've heard. I need lots of things too. <laughs> Tell you what, witch. If you beat me, I might even do both. Give you a cross and leave the girl. No. Tell me something else. Oh, not yet. Why do you haunt Akolina? Why do you torture the girl? That's no business of yours. Well, on the other hand, I don't have anything else to do. Why not tell you? You see, I study demons. They fascinate me. There's nothing to tell, really. Yenidoro used to be a wealthy churchyard near the springs. Merchants used to request prayers of thanks in this church when they returned from the north. I mean, he's definitely. Just I a was cat. once the Susietko of this church. Why would a church have a Susietko? Why not? The abandoned ones have much scarier things inside. Or am I not good enough? But now, no one lives here and no one visits the church. They only go to the stone one. So I crawled inside a Kulina out of boredom. Won't you leave the girl alone? I might leave her if you beat me. So why don't you like icons? Have you seen many shots that do? Or maybe we should open a church. We could call it Saint Chart, eh? You're a smart girl. Figured out that I don't like icons. They make me mad as hell. It's not that I'm against this new church. But she could at least make do without icons, right? These drawings... Not my cup of tea. Gives me shitters. We need a Colina's cross. Yes, I've heard. I need lots of things. Tell you what, witch. If you beat me, I'm... So be it, Broshka. Here I come, Vasilisa. <laughs> it, it looks like a glitch. Oh. How am I going to deal with this? It seems like I just can't kill her in the first three rounds. But I can beat the crap out of her. Oh, I see. He was casting that. like him but I don't want to have to deal with him. Oh 
Oh, I forgot to send him to go backhand the little girl. That's annoying. I'm gonna take a lot of damage, I just I forgot to shield. Yikes. From my Aquilina. Away with you, demon. Oh, we're talking now. Ah, oh, too bad I don't have several of those. That'll remove the get inside effect. I uh, didn't. I should have waited to use that. I I want it to be hard. Definitely why I did that. I think 
he's gonna get inside again. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, I have a backhand available. Does kind of have Skyrim vibes. I, I think it's because it's like medieval style music. Did he just hurt himself? I had this. How long? How much? Oh, he heals himself. I see. Okay. I thought it was damage. Okay, after this turn, I'm gonna slam him with that.
that for me. I'm bad. Why did that not get rid of Ward? I'll just crawl inside the girl. You won't get me there. Oh, no, you won't. I have a Zagover with your name on it. I feel like that should have been earlier in the fight. Her neck must hurt. He's also just just smoking a pipe while we're fighting. Thought it would. 
we're almost exactly back where we were. Just gonna heal back up. that it doesn't get rid of Ward, too. How these work finally. Yeah, that's what I need. I thought I told him to smack this turn. If I can deal four damage. Oh, I won. I just won. Maybe. It's gonna have one point of can't do any attacking for like three rounds. <sighs> okay, he's gonna heal himself here. actually attack. I have nothing to attack with. I just see He's gonna kill him for me. Good job, Nikolai. I leveled up. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Don't finish me off, Vasya. 
I'll tell you what. I'll leave Aquilina and come work for you. I can be useful, you'll see. I won't harm anyone. I'll be good. Work for me? I have plenty of charts already. Well, I'm not exactly a chart. I can be of use like a susiepka, in fact. Actually, we don't have a susiepka. That's not such a bad idea. What will Grandpa say to that? All right, I'll take you, but you better watch it. No joking around. I have a cat now. <laughs> Broshka leaves Akulina, climbs your left shoulder, and then vanishes into black flames. The girl crumples and falls down, exhausted. Her face looks calm and serene. Broshka won't poison her life anymore. You switch out Nikolai's cross for that of the Ikotnitsa. The crucifix looks old and rotten. The demon's power has left its mark. You hope that Akulina's soul was left untouched by it. Now yeah, that's great. we have a cross. You see, Vasha, ask and ye shall receive. Big deal. A demon's cross. So Sietkas don't shine crosses either, I presume. But on the other hand, we could do without this rattle box chort. Why are you calling a rattle box? Hush, Proshka. Don't be angry, Grandpa. He may be of use to us yet. All right. We'll see if it works out. All that's left for you is to get a name and a belt. Which will you start with? First, I would like to get a name for the girl. Well, uh, go to Vilgert. You'll find the priest there. Kolya, you should go too. It's decided then. Hey, I gotta take a quick break to go use the bathroom and then I'll be right back. Almost forgot to unmute myself. Well, what do you want? Can't you see? I'm all cozy here on the sleeping bench. He does not pronounce things well. I'm sleepy. Ask what you wanted. I need to sleep. Got tired. Why did you transform into a cat? Cats kill people. For protection, that is why. Well, what you looking at? Scared, eh? Yeah, right. Cats give no quarter. It is good that our father Tsar's army keeps them in check. Oh, you don't believe me then? Let me tell you one story. What kind of demon are you, Ikota? That's how fiends are called. Ikota. 
If they possess people, that is. You know that. Wish to learn more? Any demon can become Ikota. Climb up in someone. Got it? That's it. People will call you Ikota. Bet you can do it better than me. He is, uh, really weird at pronouncing things. Wanted to learn more about you. What were you doing before Akulina? All right, I'll tell you. It's a long story, mind you. I've told you before, I used to be a Susetko. For quite some time, I've lived there. The Transfiguration Church was built how long ago? Must be over 200 years. I am wise and old, you see. So you'd better heed my advices if you know what's good for you. Never seen cats any wiser, that's true. Good then. Maybe you'll stop swooping your fur all over the Isba in the 200 years, eh? What? What about it? None of my concern. I have to look after the household anyway. You could have fixed the bench yourself, by the way. It creaks as hell. Oh, I'll show you, you damn short. Wait, wait, Grandpa. He will do a better job. Won't you, Proshka? Sure, sure. A better one, all right. What with the church, then? <laughs> so about it. I've stayed at Susetko there from the time it was built. You were Susetko over there in church, or were you from some other place? In the church. I remember that well. But what was there before that building? Damn it. Can't quite remember. Let's talk a bit later. Maybe my memory will return. Let's go. We'll talk later. I love the meaningless jobs. Oh wait, I think I can get... Yes, I can send another meaningless job. Catch Dawn in a bottle. Terrific. Have fun with that. About to say, I wonder if that gives you any bonus. Not going to do that yet. Cause still have to we talk should to tell Nicole. everyone about the charts we've met. You know, to warn the good people, right? Everyone knows, but not everyone believes. How did you end up with a cross? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, right. There's no such thing as a cross with no story behind it. I bought it at the Walmarts. All right, then. I'll tell you. We were near a town. Levna, it's called. It was a real massacre there. Did you encounter any chorts there? Worse. The cannon fire was so loud that all the chorts fled, if they were any. It seems they all fled here, to the north. So, there was this redoubt ahead of us. Couldn't take it. Redoubt? Well, it's a kind of a fortress. No one could get any closer. And what about you, being such a gallant lad? Hey, no jokes. Listen. <laughs> I think God helped me. I went from the side, and then 
found some barrels full of gunpowder and lit them. They blew up, started a fire. There was a lot more ammunition there. A lot of our enemies burned that day. I can still hear their screams. Oh, that's probably why he's scared of fire. I suppose I will to the end of my days. I nearly died there myself. Since then, when I see a fire, I remember that tridut and those screams. I fished the cross from the river of blood, Vaisel. Are you happy now? Do you understand about the fire now? Ah. Hmm. What are you going to do with your new bride? Well, we'll get a farm. We'll get folks from the village to help. Well now, I'll build an excellent izba. And children eventually. What a life it will be. Be careful though. Who knows? The Bannock might be back. That's good. The mother-in-law is always welcome. <laughs> it seems that you're the fiercest of them all. Let's go. We'll talk later. Greetings to you, mistress of the house. Oh, this is just straight up a demon. I was flying back from Igor's job when I noticed something. Some bandits jumped the Kaldun near the crossroads. He drove a cart. Perhaps there is something useful for you there. Maybe. Just a normal cat now. Probably kill a small one. Is about to get wrecked. All I've got is attacks. He's dead. I can just do whatever. I'm 
much money do I have? I'll go check Edward. There's that vampires thing again. I'm gonna take it and buy that. Buy an amulet and a trinket. Buy a potion and drink it. You'll be as healthy as a boar. Demons fleeing from your roar. He works on his rhymes. Ah, oh, he has some of the other stuff, but not. Oh wait. Gonna be de better than my devil's finger too. So, uh... you know, I could get rid of the axe too. Low price. Buy some herbs and other goods. I You stumble upon a strange clearing. The trees are fallen, as if hit by a hurricane. Or perhaps the master of the forest walked this path. What's strange is that in the middle of the clearing, a single tree stands undamaged. You come closer and realize that the tree was saved by the Prikrish herb that grows among its roots. You bow to the plant and cut it down. You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. The only thing that protected that tree and I just took it. Near the covered crosses, you notice a jug of milk and a loaf of bread. It would seem that someone still visits these old graves. With sadness, you wonder if dead men need any treats. You leave some coins and rest a bit before continuing on your journey. What I get? I will believe. Lots of pagan holidays. Got mixed in. A cart has gone off the road, but no one seems to be around. Neither its owner, nor the horses. The cart itself is empty, except for one jewelry box, obviously left behind by the owners. Its lid is slightly ajar, Glass shards of various colors gleam inside, reflecting the moonlight. You carefully pick the item up and get ready to go on your way. Interesting. I bet that one's worth good money. From afar, you hear two demons arguing furiously. Their shouts make the treetops sway. It seems that they are arguing over a fish they caught in some peasant's fish trap. When you take a good look, you realize that a human soul is in the trap, 
shrunken in horror. Play cards with me for the soul. You Ow, quickly spider. draw a circle and read your first Zagavar. The shorts drop the trap, and the soul slips away and flies into the sky. Hey, one less sin. That's a cool looking demon, it's like a snake and a... Why are my things gray? Why don't they ever attack him? Got a lot of good effects. I thought I had more shields than that. is pretty handy. Or at least this went at the beginning of the round it is. He backhand yet? No. Good, it's letting me attack. She's probably wondering why she can hear my voice twice. I've definitely killed him this round. Blammed him. Oh, I already did the broken cart. On a bridge over a small river near Vilgert. Two cart drivers argue over who should have way first. They are arguing fiercely, not realizing that each has a demon over the left shoulder. It's the demon's job to bring discord and serve as a prompter of sorts, whispering lines into their ears. You casually draw a circle while the demons are making fun of the peasants. These shorts clearly weren't ready for your first Zagavar. But it's my job to hurt the demon. It probably doesn't really hurt them, it just makes them go away.
I'm gonna take some damage here. I like that I have just a totally normal guy running around with me, and occasionally he backhands demons for me. to the sounds of fighting. Nevertheless, by the time the Chorts have gone back to hell, the argument is also over, and both peasants go about their own business. I feel like I should have a sin removed for that. By the icy smooth surface of the lake, you notice a horse, anxiously shaking its mane. A couple of demons are tugging on its bridle, trying to steal it from its master, who is asleep beneath a slope nearby. Did I let Nikolai help? Nikolai deftly hits the chort closest to him. <laughs> Way to go, Nikolai, jeez. Is it? I've, I've never seen Puss in Boots. Did Puss in Boots fight demons? Oh. Oh, the demons were the... Puss, I guess. Oh, I forgot it was a book. I mean, this is based on Slavic myths, so. Neither do I. I'm gonna have to take six damage. I'll take this. Take 
no damage. He'll die before you hit him. Another one of those. The oh, peasant up. wakes up from the sounds of fighting. With a sinking heart, he watches as the demon's strikes send whirlwinds around you. Although the man cannot see the demons themselves, he seems to have guessed at what is happening. After a horrific realization, he hops onto his horse and flees, without waiting for the fight's outcome. Yeah, I feel like that one should have removed the sin, too. I saved that man's You horse. walk along an old path through the eastern woods. At this hour, the moon shines especially bright. Everything around you glows with a mysterious light. All of a sudden, you hear loud voices and metallic ringing coming from the woods. You can only guess what this late-night commotion is all about. Trying not to make a sound, you go deep into the woods. Finally, the branches part, and you see a curious sight. Some Khaldoons, unknown to you, are trying to agree on the price of a pile of copper samovars. One of them looks deeply upset and constantly knocks on one of the items. It seems he wants to demonstrate its quality. You notice a pair of red eyes peeking out from the samovar. Having taken an interest in the wondrous samovars, Nikolai buys one. You buy one of the samovars from the bewildered Khaldun's. They hurriedly gather the rest of the wares and disappear into the forest. As soon as they are gone, your samovar turns into a demon. I mean... Kind of new. Oh, I can do three of these now. Cool. I should have I would have won first round if I would have had Nikolai back in. I completely forgot. Yeah, I see that. You arrive during the long, pre-dawn twilight. Sharp points of age-old fir trees from a jagged wall far behind the church of Wiedelgort. The priest has already begun preparations for the morning rituals. He notices you, puts aside his chores, and greets you. I'm gonna check something. I need, I need to, like, do my level. All right. I want to buy like more meaningless tasks, but I can't. Need to like go that way.
Oh, that one could be really useful. I can cheat at cards. Ah. I feel like getting that one would be most useful. Although having another item would be really good too. Who goes there at the crack of dawn? A witch. Is it you, Vasilisa? Cover your head, girl. Tour. Morning, Holy Father. Goya? Is that you? <gasps> and don't tell me you want me to marry you too. <laughs> well, it's too early for me. Goya, on the other hand. Hey, Vasa. Don't go deciding the things for me. We came for another reason, actually. We need a name, an orthodox one, from the list of the holy names, from the Sviatse. <laughs> it can't be. Are you expecting? <laughs> no, we want to give a name to a demon. You want to what? Father Yefrem sways, walks back to the nearest wall, and sits heavily on a bench. Are you sure you don't want to marry? It's all for good. We want to free this girl. You explain your encounter with the Banya Bride, and what she needs for her freedom. I've heard about the change. Oh yes, some of this. Not fine. sure how it works though. Father Ephraim. Uh, I can't give you a name. The church tricked you both. Nothing good can come of it. Choosing a name from Sviatsi turns out to be not such an easy task. How can I make him reconsider? What if it's not a demon, but a Christian soul doomed to suffer? That would be a sin for sure. Truly. Oh. Mm. Got they it. say you are a witch now, Vasya. It will soon be the harvest day of Ivan the Long. We need to disperse the dry winds. Help our village, and I, in turn, will help you with the name. It's a deal. I know a ritual to thwart dry winds. We'll go visit the field. Hmm. All right. You'll have your name. Father Yefrem opens a heavy book with a silver cover. Choose. These days we honor the Holy Claudia, Matriona, and Alexandra. Kolya, she's your bride. You choose. Let's call her Matriona. It's a good name. You would name her after a respectable woman? Watch out. She might become a knower. <laughs> Watch out. Thank you, Father. Well, the field is about a mile to the west. Trick him and go home. I'll try to thwart the winds. See you later. I didn't. Mean you soon it, arrive at your awesome. destination. The field looks empty in the twilight of the dawn. 
cold wind seems to penetrate you to the bone. When you step onto the plowed field, you sense a familiar shiver. This field harbors evil spirits. You find a poorly hidden bundle of old wheat ears. It's a Khaldun's Zalom. The stems are tied in a knot and dusted with ashes and salt. Fresh grave soil, eggshells, and steamed grains are laid around it. You draw a circle. You feel that demons are not far off. I'm trying to read this one. Ooh. Wind, oh wind of the seven brothers, the oldest one. Do not blow from the rotten corner. Do not bring rain from the west. But blow us warmth. Render good service to our people. Bring forth pleasant rain. Joy to plowmen. Glory to you, fierce one. You finish reciting the Zagavr, and for a moment, silence falls. Suddenly, a creaky voice from behind startles you. You sure are a strange creature. First you curse it, then you bless it right after. By you? Do you mean us, Khaldun's? Ha! Humans. Always on the border between worlds. Yeah, it looks cool. And that is why you always lose. But who am I to complain? My name is Andrigo. And you... I've heard about you. You're the new witch, Vasilisa. So is it you who spoils the field, sending dry winds? Spoil? You use the wrong word. I am helping the peasants, and I am a master at this. I mean, surely you understand that this is for their own good, don't you? What possible good can Broken Rye do? Oh, you disappoint me. All right, here's the thing. The peasants will have a bad harvest this year. That is so, but it will make them search for new, better ways to grow wheat. So when the real famine comes, people will be ready. Their newly gained skills will help them overcome the true hardships. As you can see, I am a visionary. Well, now, shall we go our separate ways? Don't be a glib with me. Tell me. It's not by chance that I came across this Zalom. You don't say. Perhaps you know who's to blame. The Zalom caused this chort to appear. Who left these weeders? Who summoned this chort? Um, let's see what the uh, thing had. It finally told me, like, details on those. Seems like I'm gonna have to just guess. You were sent here by another Khaldun, weren't you? Alright. Ha! Right. You know, I'm starting to like you. I could even tell you who the Khaldun is, 
her sent me. If he weren't so careful, his alarm had already been enchanted when I arrived. Want to make a deal? Let me finish where I started. I'll send some dry winds, and after that, I'll be a servant. The famine will cause death in heaps. Yeah, I, don't I have want all the him. shorts I need. Don't be a glib with me. Tell me. Don't be a glib. What is a glib? Enough talking. I'll definitely banish you from this field. Oh, what's what's this that I have on me? Oh, that's the thing. Oh, this guy's gonna be a pain. A lot of damage. Should have probably healed that turn.
They could really use more shielding. Like, just overall. Well, I guess I'm just gonna... This dude is a little easier than the cat. Although he has done much more damage than I have. Probably wait to use that. Not giving me any heal. Take 12 damage here. Oh no, a little less than that. So, the name of the girl will be... A fitting name. You did the right thing sorting out that demon. Won't spoil any good crops anymore. The only thing left to do is visit the spinner. Vasilisa and I are going to see the spinner. There's nothing for you to do there, Kolya. Understand? Sure, did. And one more thing. Don't say anything about the Banya or the Bride. The Spinner can't stand demons, though she looks like one herself. Got it? That sick burn. Who is the Spinner? A woman of sorts. Her name is Kapitalina Ivanna, but everyone calls her the Spinner behind her back. She's quite knowledgeable. You don't want to mess with her. That's why I am coming with you. Don't go running your garret. 
cut what him off. What should I say to get the belt? He was running his mouth. Good question, Vasilisa. Keep your ears open when you speak to her. Remember, do not mention demons. She does not like them. And you might as well disregard the fact that we needed the belt for a changeling girl. Now, if you show you are of knowledge, that would be good indeed. If she doesn't like you, or should you let anything sleep, the cost will be more than we can handle. Got it? Understood, Grandpa. It yes, it's better go to her at night. I've arranged a card for us. Do you have any Kupala self left? If I only knew, we could fly, but feet will do. And uh, another thing, there's uh, this rich fellow, uh, Petrov is his name. He asked me to check on his field. Says demons are ruining his crops. It's not far from Pintyak. It so happens. All right, let's see. <laughs> the other useless one. Probably gonna use that pretty soon. Well, Vasha, now I say. can say I've seen things. Cannon fire. A redoot, that's one thing. The devil himself, that's a whole different level. Still, I think that war is scarier. Much scarier than any chort. I still can't forget it. You've seen too few chorts, Kolya. Perhaps that's true, but that's beside the point. I'm not going to put up with it. I know how to get over this. I have an idea. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking of stepping right into the fire, if only something turned up. You could die, you know. No, no. I'm not talking about something like a campfire. And I'm not <laughs> planning on dying either. It's not the devil I have to overcome. Man's greatest enemy is himself. That's what I think. What happened down there, in the war? Bah, Vasya. You wouldn't be interested. This war was thought up by the devil and not other. Not by the Holy Spirit, that's for sure. I don't even want to remember. The thoughts alone make my hair white. Is that why you started smoking? Well, look at you. They don't call you knowers without reason. Well, yes. I'll start with something small, I think. To tell you the truth, I'm terrified even when I strike sparks with flint. Old houses and banyas are often home to demons. The masters leave, but don't always take their host spirits with them. Well, that's me. You've been telling me how you got your Kaldun power. Right. Where were we? So, uh, I became a shepherd boy. He taught me this and that at first, that Prokopi. 
That one time, the cattle had wandered all over the place, and my chief turned up drunk. Drank a whole bottle of vodka. He couldn't move a muscle. Well, what other choice did I have? I went to collect them by myself. Managed to get almost all of them as midnight drew near. Had to pass Mikhail's crossroads on the way back. You know how that place is. So there I am with the cattle tagging along. The moment I stepped onto the crossroads, everything turned upside down. Winds out of nowhere, and what you know, swarms of shorts. Figured I'd quickly draw a circle around me, and so I did. And these shorts were just swarming on the edge of the circle. All sorts, you name it. Well, I think that's it. Everything turned out all right, as you see. <laughs> Next time I'll tell you how I got out of it. What sort of spirits are those Baniks? Masters of the bathhouse, like a susietko in an esba. I don't think it was an ordinary place, the Banya, before the worship of God. What do you mean, before God? I mean that our ancestors used to be worship the spirits of the hearth. Some Perm people still call upon Yen or Voipil. Oh. Alright. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a lunch break for a bit. And then I'll be back with something else.